Hello, this is Bob Joyner, and this is October the 29th, 2013. And just going to do a quick video review of uh, the pivot points and some things I've been talking about uh, in the free videos and also uh, online in the blog and in the annotated charts on the website. So in yesterday's blog, uh, around noontime, I mentioned JKS, that the solar stocks had really taken a beating, and you can see what happened to JKS yesterday afternoon, uh, just a big pull out, pullback. Now, this is on a two-hour chart, and we've been talking about pivot lines and possible lines of support where you can see um, where you know price bounced right on that line and also drew an area right in here because that was a possible double bottom here because we had previous bounce in that price area for JKS before. So uh, but pointed that out and had a question mark posted in there and said, you know, a possible line of, of support there. So I just wanted to kind of review and show you real quick what happened uh, today. Uh, you can see that, you know, two things I wanted to point out. This is still a two hour chart, but you can see how as the days change, the pivot lines uh, they change also. So now that pivot line is up here, whereas you know we had an, an S3 down here below here before in the previous chart. Let me just go back so you can see that again. See, we had an S3 on that two hour chart yesterday, but the pivot lines are redrawn based on your chart package and based on whether you're looking at intraday charts or you're looking at daily charts and that sort of thing. So I wanted to point that out because a lot of people don't really understand that when they first start using the pivot lines um, so anyway now this you know dash line right here is the key pivot line you can see where price has moved back above that price did find support on that historical line of support that I mentioned in yesterday's blog and had a nice nice big run up today in price that is still continuing as I print this so I uh, also wanted to point out something for the forex traders there uh, a similar sort of thing. This is a 30 minute chart of uh, the Swiss franc versus the Japanese yen and you can see also same sort of scenario we had here. This is on a 30 minute chart but you can see how we have the S1 line down here. Price didn't quite get to that. A lot of traders are just looking at that and they're not looking at historical support and you can see we had that historical support uh, you know within the past week. Um, so an important line, the closer it is to the date where we're having that price test, the more important that line becomes, in my view. And we had a nice big pip move on that one uh, this morning. And then another one that I would mention just quickly is uh, this is the New Zealand dollar versus the U.S. dollar. And um, on this one, what you can see, this is a 30-minute chart again, but what you can see is that price has been falling steadily, falling steadily. And there is no recent, you know, line of price support here for this trade. So in this case, this S1 line becomes more important, and you can see how price tested that line several times this morning. And uh, I expect it to fall through, but but uh, currently you can see where that line becomes a line that gets tested, just as other lines were tested when they were drawn earlier on this chart. So. Just wanted to cover that little bit on pivot lines. Remember that they change based on uh, the day and the time frame and the charting package. So be sure you get comfortable with that before you start using them in your trading. And as always, I would say paper trade with these uh, pivot lines of support and resistance before you start using real money with them. All right. Hope that helps you with your trading.